Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imam Walid Hakim. I'm here in Arctic, Norway. We just finished our Taraweeh Salah. The masjid is this way. Yes, uh, and I want to show you the midnight sun. You've heard about the midnight sun before, but I'm actually going to show it to you now, subhanAllah. So this is it right behind me, as you see over here. It's just going to touch the mountain. It will look like a sunset, but at this time of the year, we don't have a sunset. And something else that will shock you, subhanAllah, is that uh, this is this is actually west, right? But the sun is not setting in the west here. Actually, it's not setting at all. It's actually in our north. Why? Because this sun keeps going around the sky in circles. It doesn't set. It just keeps going around in circles all day. And if you look behind me as well, let me see if I could see it here. Something else beautiful I want to show you. Yes, here also, uh, um, here, we have a full moon. So we have the midnight sun and we have the full moon and the midnight sun is still behind me here in the mountain. You could see it, subhanAllah. Fa, you know, I'm going to tell you something uh, very impressive that this, actually, this midnight sun was mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the story of uh, Zulqarnayn alayhi salam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him abilities to travel as far in the earth in the east and as far in the west and during these uh, travels Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he went and, and saw some people who Allah did not give any coverings from the sun yes that uh, the people who he arrived they were under the sun and they don't have any covering from the sun. What does that mean, subhanAllah? At that time when it was revealed, uh, the scholars of tafsir have not seen this phenomenon because they haven't traveled to these extreme parts of the world. But here, subhanAllah, we have it uh, over here, the sun. And it just went behind the mountain. I'm going to walk a bit more so it appears again. There you go. You see it again. <laughs> SubhanAllah. I just have to follow the mountain. So Allah says that uh, there are people on this earth who cannot take covering from the sun, meaning in the sky. And that's true. SubhanAllah. Uh, here, if, if you're in the Arctic in some places, if I didn't have these mountains, you would see the sun all day, all night. SubhanAllah. And you could see even though it's summer and most of, I'm sure in your country now, it's 32, 33, 34 degrees. If you're in America, it's maybe 100 Fahrenheit. But here, look, I'm wearing still winter clothes. You see that? I'm trying to keep myself, look how thick my jacket is. SubhanAllah. So that's beautiful Arctic Norway. And it makes our fasting also very nice, SubhanAllah, because we only have to deal with the hunger. But the thirst, Alhamdulillah, this, in this weather, it is hard to feel thirsty subhanallah and most people now are already asleep because they have work but muslims are awake because they just finished their taraweeh and soon inshallah they are going to have their sahur and someone say how do you fast over here if you don't have a sunset or sunrise what do you do exactly now of course there are several fatwas but the Muslims gathered together and they wanted to choose something that unifies them in this region. Alhamdulillah, about 1,200 Muslims. Many of them come from smaller towns around us here in Arctic Norway. Uh, so they follow the, uh, the fatwa that came from Al-Azhar about following Mecca time. So we follow Mecca time. So that's why when we break our fasting... Uh, the sun is in front of us and some of you may say it's haram. Well, the sun doesn't set. So <laughs> what do you want us to do exactly? If, uh, that's what that's what we follow and then after this we also follow Taraweeh on uh, Mecca time as well and Fajr on Mecca time as well Alhamdulillah if, uh, th It's not going to last like this because in just a couple of years uh, In Ramadan, we're going to have a real sunrise and sunset and then we will have to follow the local time and it's going to be very long almost 22 hours uh, subhanallah except people who are sick or old or have a reason not to fast but that's the you can hear the seagulls over here we're just on the sea we're near the ocean you might say subhanallah how is it uh, it's actually a bit warmer here than most of Arctic Norway why even though we are we are above the Arctic Circle already we're just a short flight from the North Pole but it's green over here because we are near the ocean and the ocean gets uh, warm waters from the Gulf of Mexico which alhamdulillah keeps us a bit warmer here in winter yeah so that's the uh, 
that's over here what we're doing in Arctic. Now you could see there is oil refineries here in, in Norway because you know that's uh, uh, the Norwegian economy depends on oil in this region. I think if there was no oil, Allah Alam, if there would be some people living over here, yes? Because most people, uh, more than 70% or 80% of the Norwegian population is in the south of Norway and only a small number of people here. And I say, subhanAllah, how, uh, what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muslims over here. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants people to know about Islam everywhere we go. Everywhere we go on this beautiful earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is someone who people could learn about the Quran and learn about the Prophet and his message. And we are the ones who are trusted with this message to convey it to the people over here. And alhamdulillah, we've had several shahadas this year by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is really good. SubhanAllah, I'm walking away again from the sun which is just behind the mountain here if i walk about 15 minutes i will see the sun again there is a beach just over there subhanallah i'll be happy to take your questions about islam in arctic norway but i want you to go to surah al-kahf and go to the part of zulqarnain and read the part which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the people who have no covering from the sun yes fa alhamdulillah that we have uh, this over here it's a very beautiful phenomenon inshallah and again my home is just over here inshallah if you come i have a guest room i would be very happy to host you in my home inshallah i'm not just saying this i'm saying this for real inshallah if you come here the city is called buda b-o-d-o -O, and you are more than welcome and i happen to be the imam here alhamdulillah and inshallah it would be beautiful to have you here Bye. who is here let me see mashallah i see my brother tawqir he's also from norway but he's from the south so they follow the local time feel sorry for you Assalamu alaikum akhi tawqir, mashallah. Okay, so you guys are, I think, uh, some of you are, just came back from Taraweeh as well, if you're in Europe, uh, breaking your fast. If you're in America and Canada, you're still fasting. If you're in Australia, you're probably not watching this because it's too, <laughs> it's too early in the morning for you to watch this. Bye. Jazakumullah khair, and I would be happy to answer your questions in the comments section, inshallah. Look again one more time at the sun over here. Yes, if I walk a bit, you will see it, inshallah, the midnight sun. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.